Larry B. Miller was born and raised in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. He was born on November 13, 1949. He grew up with his eight brothers and, si eight brothers and sisters with his mother and father. Before Larry was drafted, he worked at a steel company. Mr. Miller was given notice before he had to leave for basic training. He left his family and friends and went to Fort Dix, New Jersey. While at basic training for six months, he was taught how to operate the messaging board. He was also taught Morse code, which he still remembers today. He had difficulties understanding why other people would want to kill people. Um. No one loves to kill anybody. I can't imagine anybody who goes to war and says, I'm going to, I think I'll go out and kill a few people a day, you know. But Mr. Miller stated during our interview. He learned, although nobody necessarily wanted to kill anyone else, that it was going to happen. Even though they had bullets flying over their head, none of them still wanted anyone to die. Mr. Miller learned a quite a bit about the customs over there. Some would shock him at first. Customs were a lot different over in Vietnam. One of the customs were uh, w like girls and girls held hands and boys and boys held hands and, and girls and boys didn't hold hands. It was, it was a different thing to get used to. And that one day when we were out on, out on the uh, field, uh, one of the Vietnamese uh, took my hand and I, and I cocked my hand back because I wanted to really punch him out and Major Redman said, Miller, don't do it, you know, because uh, when, when they hold your hand, it means they really like you. This was the complete opposite which what he knew and learned from America. One day when he was out in the field, one of the Vietnamese took his hand. He quickly pulled away. He, he said he really wanted to punch him, but he was told not to because it wasn't a bad thing. In Vietnam, this meant they really liked him. Mr. Miller just wasn't used to it. He also learned that the Vietnamese weren't mean, but mostly anxious about the Americans that were going there to help them. Mr. Larry Miller was part of a search and destroy team, and he also carried the radio with the teams. On their search and destroy missions, they would have sniper fire sometimes, and he would call in artillery rounds. This is what the radio was used for, calling in airstrikes and artillery rounds. He would carry the radio around for longer than 16 hours a day. Mr. Miller said that it's a great experience to see how the people lived in the area. Miller also had to go into the water one time with the radio on his back. The water was up to his neck and Mr. Miller told us that he was lucky it didn't go any farther because he could not swim. While carrying the radio and being on a search and destroy team, he was also part of the MACV team. This was an advisory team that would go out with the Vietnamese regional forces and police forces and teach them how to properly do sort search and destroy missions. From all these missions and things, Mr. Miller ended up getting jungle rot. This is a fungus that grows underneath one's nails. Miller had operated on twice but that never got it to go away, and eventually he got it to go away when he came, he came to the VA over in America. Mr. Miller came home for R&R. &R. He also went to Australia. But when he came home after the war, he didn't get the welcome he thought he should have got. Nobody really congratulated him or thanked him, but he did get a sign from his family. While he was in the service, the thing that kept him calm was getting home without any injuries, and being alive. Another motivator was to see how other people lived. It really made him appreciate what he had in the U.S. Larry B. Miller served for 18 months and learned many new things from being over in Vietnam and the experiences that he had. He made many new friends, which he is still in touch with today. Mr. Miller won the Bronze Star, Clover Rifle Award, and Vietnam Awards which awarded him for the dedication and courage while in service. Mr. Miller also got to learn heritage of different people and got to see how other people lived that were not in the States. Overall, Larry B. Miller had great experiences and learned a lot of things while in service. The years that bother me is, is the President of the United States, the Vice President, your Congress and Senate, authorized you to go over there and kill people in that, 
but they don't send their sons and daughters over there to serve. They don't put them in harm's way. His life to the military. This is something that Mr. Miller has and always will remember and will carry the lessons on for the rest of his life.